the number one contender for the WWE Championship of the Royal Rumble. We welcome you inside the AT&T Center in San Antonio, Texas for yet another exciting edition of Monday Night Raw. The WWE Tag Team Championship Eliminator kicks off later this evening as well. But coming up in your main event, the phenomenal AJ Styles goes one-on-one -on -one with Mr. Monday Night himself, Rob Van Dam. And the winner of this battle is going on to the Royal Rumble on January the 1st to challenge Randy Orton for the WWE Championship in Toronto. That's tonight on Raw. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the Raw Women's Championship. It is a stacked night of action here in San Antonio. The Women's Champion Shotzi issuing an open contract, an open challenge to the WWE Women's Division locker room for the championship tonight. And the shiniest wizard, Tegan Knox, has accepted the challenge. Tegan Knox has been away for the WWE for quite some time. She is back here tonight, a part of that Raw locker room. And what an opportunity at stake for Tegan Knox. One on one with Shotzi for the WWE Women's Championship. It's going to be a stacked night of action here on Monday Night Raw. We thank you for joining us. Later tonight, AJ Styles, Rob Van Dam, the lock horns in the middle of the ring. Plus, DIY, Johnny Gargano, and Tommaso Ciampa back together as they battle Kofi Kingston and Xavier Woods of the New Day in the first matchup of the WWE Tag Team Championship Eliminator on the road to January 1st at the Royal Rumble. But here comes the reigning defending WWE Women's Champion of the World, Shotzi, looking to take care of business tonight in San Antonio. Shotzi won the Women's Championship back on Thanksgiving night at Survivor Series where she defeated the Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka. The last time we saw Shotzi inside of the squared circle was two weeks ago in Madison Square Garden at Raw Homecoming where she retained the gold over the Nightmare Rhea Ripley. But Shotzi continuing to be a defending champion atop the women's division. Last week issued that open challenge to the women's locker room. And what a surprise, Tegan Knox. Accepting the challenge, putting pen to paper, signing on the dotted line of that open contract, and gets herself a women's championship opportunity to kick us off here on Monday Night Raw tonight. Just days before December the 21st, Saturday night's main event, a live premiere special, a Raw and SmackDown production, and of course the Royal Rumble, another live premiere on January the 1st, our next pay-per-view. Everybody's looking to build momentum in the WWE as we inch closer and closer to the road to WrestleMania. We're going to be talking about all that all night long, but a lot of championship opportunities at stake tonight. And the women's championship around the waist of Shotzi is on the line right here, right now, to kick us off on Monday Night Raw. This is going to be a good one. The shiniest wizard, Tegan Knox, back in action, set to go one-on-one -on -one with Shotzi for the WWE Women's Championship of the World. Let's send things down to the ring for your official introductions. Introducing the challenger from the Welsh Valleys, TK Knox. And introducing the champion from Oakland, California, the Raw Women's Champion, Shotzi. The ballsy badass hands the championship over yet again. Will she be retaining the gold tonight or is the shiningest wizard walking out of Monday Night Raw the new women's champion of the WWE? It's going to be an exciting night of in-ring action here on Monday Night Raw. We thank you for joining us yet again tonight. AT&T Center, San Antonio, Texas. The road to the Royal Rumble continues right here, right now. Let's get it going. Women's titles on the line. This should be an absolutely amazing night of in-ring competition with the championship on the line right now and not one but two number one contenders matches tonight. Of course, the WWE Tag Team Championship Eliminator kicks off. DIY versus The New Day. The winners of that will face the winners of next week's Viking Raiders versus Jinder Mahal and Sheamus matchup. 
The winners of that matchup will become the number one contender for Damian Priest and Dominic Dijakovic at the Royal Rumble. And look at this, Shotzi, head scissors, takedown on Tegan Knox. And what a matchup coming your way in tonight's main event. Mr. Monday Night, Rob Van Dam, set to go one-on-one -on -one with the phenomenal AJ Styles, the man who defeated Austin Theory last week on Raw. Number one contenders matchup for the WWE Championship. And she's running high, opportunities flourishing in the Monday Night Raw locker room. Who's gonna be the best of them? Who's gonna take advantage? And who's gonna get the Ws here tonight on Raw? Neck breaker into the sent time by Shotzi. And we've documented it well. Shotzi continuing to improve week in and week out. She's worked her way up to the top of the mountain in the women's division. Really took the Empress of tomorrow, the former champion Asuka, to her absolute limit back on Thanksgiving night at Survivor Series, where Shotzi became the women's champion. That was a long road for Shotzi to win, win back that women's championship, a title that she won by defeating Bianca Belair back in SummerSlam in June, but never even got the chance to hold the title in her hands thanks to the Women's Money in the Bank briefcase being cashed in by Asuka. A lot of history between those two women, Shotzi writing the final chapter at Survivor Series. And again, two weeks ago here on Monday Night Raw at the homecoming event in Madison Square Garden. Replay available now for that pay-per-view-like event here on Monday Night Raw. The ballsy badass defeating the Nightmare Rhea Ripley to retain her gold in Madison Square Garden. But right now, the champion is in trouble. All due respect between these two women actually had a small stint teaming up with each other. And Tegan Knox first run here on the main roster. These two women know each other well. Tonight it's not about respect, it's not about the past, it's about the now and it's about walking out of San Antonio atop the women's division as its champion. Nice block there by Tegan Knox and follows up with a snap suplex. What a win it could be for Tegan Knox on a return night here to the WWE, answering the open challenge of Shotzi for the Women's Championship and walking away with the gold. Shotzi's got other plans, though. Not enough just yet. Tegan Knox getting his shoulder up. Nice maneuver by Shotzi there, trying to sneak the victory over Tegan. But Knox gets sent over the top rope. And Shotzi not afraid to throw caution to the wind. We've seen her go high risk, high reward before. Alex for the axe hammer on Tegan Knox to take out the challenger. I'm sure the women's division has got their eyes locked on this. Chomping at the fifth to see who's going to walk out of Monday Night Raw tonight, the women's champion. Everybody looking to be next in line for the championship here in the WWE. It was last week here on Monday Night Raw that Asuka returned to action for the first time since Survivor Series. She defeated Nikki Cross. We also saw Naomi pick up a victory against Mia Yim last week. Wins and losses matter around these parts when it comes to those championship opportunities, when it comes to the main event, when it comes to the big match situations. So everybody looking to get their hand raised and keep their momentum going. And Shotzi unloading right now on the challenger. Women's champion, look at that springboard, goes for the crossbody but waited too long. Tegan Knox is out of the way and now Knox. Clothesline after clothesline, unloading on the champion, and the shiningest wizard of the WWE is back in control of this championship affair. Oh no, could be looking for a code red, and she hits it flush. New champion on the horizon, not just yet, as Shotzi hits the shoulder up. Man, what a matchup, kicking us off tonight on Monday Night Raw. Tegan Knox just a second away from walking out of San Antonio, the new WWE Women's Champion. Well, look at Shotzi. What a punt kick. A ballsy badass, not afraid to get her hands dirty inside of the squared circle. Tegan Knox is a fighter. Look at this. Oh no. Here we go for a choke slam there. Lady Kane. Not enough as Shotzi's able to battle out, avoid disaster. There's Tegan again. Man, you can't count out Tegan Knox. She was a participant in both the 2017 and 2018. May Young Classic. Spent several years down in NXT. Has gone through numerous injuries. I mean, Tegan Knox has fought back from the worst situations in her careers and is still fighting each and every day. Take nothing away from the shiningest wizard. She is a tough SOB just as Shotzi is, and she's proving it right now. My goodness, unloading on the champion. Shotzi is in trouble. We very well may be on the urge of a new women's champion here tonight on Raw. 
who is looking to walk into the Royal Rumble and walk into WrestleMania season holding the championship gold. Uh. Referees at a count of six, Shotzi able to get a moment of breathing here. Obviously, Shotzi can retain the championship via count out. Tegan Knox got to break that count, though. And avoid disaster. Disaster being losing this matchup. Tegan up against the ropes. Look at this, Shotzi unloading. Look at the strikes. Shotzi hits the ropes full head of steam off the drop kick. Shotzi digging deep into her arsenal tonight to try to take down the challenger. Remember, Shotzi put herself in this situation. Anyway, they go into the top rope. Elbow dropped by the champion. Immediately into the cover. Will that be enough to retain the women's championship tonight? But Tegan Knox gets the shoulder up. As we were about to mention, Shotzi put herself in this situation. She wants to be not only the reigning champion, but a defending successful champion. She defeated Rhea Ripley at homecoming two weeks ago. No rest for the wicked. Put out that open challenge, and she has got herself a fight here tonight on Monday Night Raw. Now Tegan on the top rope. Shotzi, look at this. Go for the Frankensteiner, but Tegan Knox held on. And Tegan off the top rope of the splash. Shotzi is in trouble. New champion about to be crowned here tonight on Raw, not just yet. Tegan Knox is hanging in there and proving herself a worthy challenger to the champion. What a kick to the dome. Will Tegan Knox have what it takes to put Shotzi away here? There's a reversal by Shotzi. Momentum starts to shift back and forth this matchup. There's the Frankensteiner Shotzi was looking for in the ring, not on the top rope, but good enough as the ballsy badass is heading to the top. Goes for the coffin drop, but she misses. Tegan Knox had Shotzi's best maneuver scouted. Double underhook, German suplex right there. And that may be it. Is Tegan Knox leaving the new women's champion? Not just yet. The ballsy badass rolls on another moment in this contest. But Tegan Knox is in control. Shotzi threw her best shot at Knox. Knox got out of the way. Oh no. Shining his wizard. That's gonna do it. Tegan Knox, the new women's champion. Shotzi kicked out. I cannot believe it, but the match rolls on another moment. The crowd here in San Antonio tonight showing their appreciation for these two women absolutely tearing down the house on what is already gonna be a full night of action, packed action inside of that ring. And I can't believe Shotzi was able to kick out of that shining wizard. Takes out Tegan Knox in the corner off that senton. And Shotzi's headed back to the top rope. Could be looking for that coffin drop. Is she gonna hit it? This time, nails it flush. Shotzi throwing her best at Tegan Knox, And it's enough to get the W. Man, what a matchup to kick us off tonight here on Monday Night Raw. Shotzi proving herself worthy as a reigning and defending women's champion of the WWE. I mean, avoiding everything Tegan Knox had to throw at her. Surviving the Shining Wizard, and Shotzi gets the last laugh here tonight in San Antonio. Here is your winner and still the Raw Women's Champion, Shotzi. The ballsy badass lives to fight another moment as the WWE Women's Champion, but as the road to the Royal Rumble continues, you gotta wonder who's gonna be next in line for Shotzi. Wait a minute! The former champion, the woman that was dethroned by Shotzi at Survivor Series, the Empress of Tomorrow, is here on Monday Night Raw. Whoa, 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 wait a minute! Asuka coming from behind? What the hell is this? Asuka's music playing. Shotzi just got done a women's championship defense. The Empress of Tomorrow just attacked the ballsy badass from behind. What the hell is going on here? I understand tensions running high. I understand frustration getting the best of you, but there's no reason to assault somebody from behind, especially somebody who absolutely should have earned your respect a number of weeks ago at Survivor Series. Oh, come on now, a knockout blow by Asuka. Message sent, Asuka wants back the women's championship.
We're back live here in San Antonio and Cedric Alexander set for action here tonight on Monday Night Raw. Alexander came up short against Karrion Cross a few weeks ago here on the Red Brand, but another opportunity to bounce back tonight as he's going one-on-one -on -one with the new Intercontinental Champion who's sporting a new piece of hardware representing the Intercontinental Gold, the Bruiserweight, Pete Dunne. Pete Dunne becoming a two-time Intercontinental Champion two weeks ago at Raw Homecoming, defeating Tommaso Ciampa and Sheamus in that triple threat matchup. And I'm sure Pete Dunne is looking to throw his name in the hat on 15 of the Raw superstars that will compete in the 30-man Royal Rumble matchup coming your way on Sunday night, January the 1st. 2023, a live premiere event. We're kicking off the new year the best way we know how with the kickoff to the road to WrestleMania. It's the Royal Rumble. New Year's night. Can't wait to get to Toronto. What a night it's gonna be. But tonight here on Raw, it's Cedric Alexander versus the Intercontinental Champion, the Bruiserweight Pete Dunne. Pete Dunne looking to build some more momentum towards the Royal Rumble especially after winning the Intercontinental Championship two weeks ago here on Monday Night Raw. And as for Cedric Alexander, as we mentioned, looking to bounce back from that loss against Karrion Cross a few weeks ago as well. And what a matchup we just kicked things off with moments ago. Shotzi and Tegan Knox tearing down the house here on Monday Night Raw. And a heinous assault, to be perfectly honest, by the Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka. Clearly a, a switch has flipped inside of her mind and absolutely laying out the woman who dethroned her back at Survivor Series. Hopefully we get more information on that situation. But right here, right now, we got Cedric Alexander on the Bruiserweight, Pete Dunne. Pete Dunne becoming a two-time Intercontinental Champion. He won the gold for the first time on June 26th of this year at SummerSlam, where he defeated Drew McIntyre and Sheamus in a triple threat matchup. Of course, lost that gold to Tommaso Ciampa back on September the 10th at Judgment Day this year. Pete Dunne fought, fighting long and hard and able to get back into the Intercontinental Championship ranks. And was able to acquire the gold by defeating the two men who have really plagued Pete Dunne's career these last number of months, Sheamus and Tommaso Ciampa. Now a two-time Intercontinental Champion, Pete Dunne, I'm sure, going to be a reigning defending one at that. As we mentioned, every man looking to throw their name in the 30-man pool for the Royal Rumble matchup in a couple of weeks' time. Cedric coming off the top rope, nice axe hammer on the former Cruiserweight Champion, Pete Dunne. Rope break there for Alexander. Look at this, Alexander miscalculating that springboard kick, and Pete Dunne, small package here for the Intercontinental Champion. We're going to take advantage, not just yet, but smart maneuver by the Bruiserweight. Sunday night, January the 1st, 2023. It's going to be 15 superstars from Raw, 15 superstars from SmackDown, one 30-man pool. The 30-man over-the-top rope Royal Rumble match. And of course, hanging in the balance is an opportunity to challenge for either the WWE Championship or the World Heavyweight Championship in the main event of WrestleMania. Cannot wait for the road to WrestleMania to kick off. Cannot wait till we get to Toronto, Ontario, Canada to kick off the new year at the Royal Rumble. He's done. Look at this. What a maneuver there. This snap German, Cedric Alexander's got to be feeling the effects of that, but Alexander can't take nothing away from that young man. Oh, look at this. It's got Pete Dunne in trouble there. Face plants the Intercontinental Champion. And Pete Dunne comes tougher than anybody. Roll up, avoids the rope, or I should say, a rope break, avoids the pinfall there. Pete Dunne's trying to get back into this matchup. Cedric Alexander knows what's hanging on the line here tonight. It's not just about momentum. It's not just about getting the win for the first time in quite a while for Cedric Alexander. But a win over Pete Dunne means a victory over the Intercontinental Champion. And a victory over the champion means you just earned yourself a future championship opportunity. So Cedric knows what's on the line here tonight. You know Cedric's going to give it his all inside of the ring. Former tag team champion, former cruiserweight champion. Of course, the Hurt business really falling apart in the WWE draft a number of weeks ago. So Cedric on his own here on Monday Night Raw is trying to carve his own path. 
Right now, the Intercontinental Champion is in firm control of this matchup in front of a raucous audience, jam-packed to the gills here at the AT&T Center in San Antonio, Texas. What a maneuver by Cedric Alexander off the springboard. Still to come tonight, Mr. Monday Night, Rob Van Dam, one-on-one -on -one with the phenomenal AJ Styles. Wait a minute here, Alexander gonna steal the victory. Pete Dunn counters. Not enough just yet. As we were mentioning, Styles, Rob Van Dam, one-on-one -on -one in your main event tonight. Two men that got history with each other in this business. Lumbar check by Cedric Alexander. Alexander may just earned himself a future championship matchup, but Pete Dunn gets the shoulder up. That lumbar check good enough to keep any average man down, but if there's one thing we know about the bruiser weight, it's that he doesn't go down unless you absolutely kill him inside of that ring. And Pete Dunn again survives off the Spanish fly. As tough as they come is the Intercontinental Champion. And proving that here tonight, Pete Dunn, look at this, leg lock submission hold. Not something we normally see out of the arsenal. Pete Dunn, by any means necessary, to get the victory and a boot right to the nose. I don't care how tough you are, that's a kick that'll break any man's nose. And Pete Dunn off the clothesline takes Cedric Alexander down. Nice and Seguri by the Intercontinental Champion, Pete Dunn, trying to get back into this matchup after a flurry of offense from Cedric Alexander. Almost putting the Intercontinental Champion away on a few occasions there. Pete Dunn's got to stay focused on this matchup at hand. Nice shot to Cedric Alexander. Like it or not, look at this. Wrenching on the face of Alexander. This is where Pete Dunn is so dangerous. Picks apart his opponent inside of the ring, limb by limb. Cedric is out right now, and Pete Dunn, oh no, forearm, and Cedric Alexander getting sent to a bitter end inside of the ring. Covered by the champion, and Pete Dunn picks up the victory tonight on Monday Night Raw. Momentum stays in the corner of your current reigning Intercontinental Champion. Sporting a new piece of hardware tonight, and Pete Dunn has got a far look ahead as he builds Here momentum towards winner. the Royal Rumble matchup Ladies on January the 1st. Pete Dunne. Will Pete Dunne be on his way to WrestleMania? Not only with the Intercontinental Championship on his shoulders, but maybe as a future challenger to the WWE Championship. Well, the action continues here tonight in San Antonio. One half of the World Tag Team Champions, Dominic Dijakovic, set to battle it out with the Irish ace, Jordan Devlin, plus the boss, Sasha Banks, one-on-one -on -one with Doe Drop. And Damian Priest and Dominic Dijakovic continue their winning ways. Dijakovic gets the win over Devlin, and the boss picks up the victory here tonight on Monday Night Raw. It is time to kick off the World Tag Team Championship Eliminator on the road to the Royal Rumble. Kofi Kingston and Xavier Woods, two men who got a lot of history holding championship gold here in the WWE, looking to do it again on January 1st. But they gotta get through DIY tonight, and of course next week's matchup between the Viking Raiders and Jinder Mahal and Sheamus. The World Tag Team Championship Eliminator kicks off tonight. DIY, The New Day, next week, Viking Raiders versus Jinder Mahal and Sheamus. The winners of these two matches meet in the finals, and the winners go on to fight da Damian Priest and Dominic Dijakovic for the WWE World Tag Team Championships in Toronto on January 1st. Kofi Kingston and Xavier Woods, once again, a part of Monday Night Raw. Kofi picked up a victory over Jinder Mahal a number of weeks ago here on the Red Brand. So some history between those two men. As we mentioned, the New Day, decorated careers as tag team champions here in the WWE. Looking to do it again and topple a team that has been oh so impressive each and every time they've stepped inside the squared circle, that being the archer Damian Priest, Mr. Feast Your Eyes himself, Dominic Dijakovic. But tonight they got to get through the reformed and reunited Tommaso Ciampa and Johnny Gargano, D-I-Y is here on Monday Night Raw. And Johnny Organo actually took to his Instagram account earlier today 
to address the reformation of DIY. Organo had this to say. He said, everyone keeps questioning why and how myself and Tommaso Ciampa are in this eliminator starting on Raw. It's pretty simple. We buried the hatchet over a year ago. There was an open contract for four duos to sign and enter the eliminator. We saw an opportunity and took it. And now, D.I. Rai is ready to take over Monday Night Raw. Organo and Ciampa back together. Champa, of course, losing the Intercontinental Championship two weeks ago, but now with new championship gold in his sight. And Johnny Gargano, been 2-0 since returning to the WWE and becoming a part of Monday Night Raw, win over Mustafa Ali, a win over Ilya Dragunov just last week. Very interesting situation. It's a big fight feel in the first matchup of the World Tag Team Championship Eliminator, and we are underway with Champa and Xavier Woods. Champa immediately into the cover on Xavier Woods. It's going to take a lot more to keep Woods and Kofi down. Kofi Kingston, a former WWE champion. Xavier Woods, a former King of the Ring winner. And of course, the decorated tag team career of the duo. Of course, with Big E usually by their side. Big E, the last time we saw him was in action two weeks ago at Monday Night Raw Homecoming. A losing effort to Kevin Owens, but I'm sure Big E is going to be back for more any week now. Johnny Gargano again taking to Instagram earlier today to explain the reformation of DIY. I guess pretty cut and dry. I mean, the last time we saw Johnny Gargano in NXT before his WWE hiatus, things did seem like all the issues between himself and Champa were a thing of the past. So I understand where both men are coming from, both a, a part of Monday Night Raw, both won championship gold. An opportunity presented himself and Former members of DIY bringing it back together to try to take advantage of the opportunity. You can't argue with Ciampa and Gargano. You might not like their attitudes. You might not like the cold-hearted antics of the Blackheart Tommaso Ciampa, but they know how to get it done inside of the ring. Nice and Segura by Xavier Woods. Johnny Gargano, as we mentioned, 2-0 since his WWE return. We're looking at a former NXT Grand Slam champion, Tommaso Ciampa, on the other hand. Former NXT champion, of course, tag team champion with Gargano as well. The decorated careers thus far in the WWE. They're looking to add on to that list of accolades. There's a little tag team action by Gargano and Ciampa. And Xavier Woods feeling the wrath of DIY's reformation here tonight in San Antonio. What a night of in-ring action it has been here tonight on Monday Night Raw. You really feel... The sense of urgency in the Monday Night Raw locker room. Everybody giving it their all. Everybody trying to build momentum towards the Royal Rumble and the soon-to-be kickoff to WrestleMania season. Every moment matters inside of that squared circle, just as this one does right now. With a possible future tag team championship opportunity hanging in the balance. Gargano trying to avoid Xavier Woods getting fresh legs in there. But Woods takes out Gargano. And Woods... Now tagging in the former WWE Champion, Kofi Kingston. Gargano going to tag in the former Intercontinental Champion, Tommaso Ciampa. And the matchup rolls on here in San Antonio tonight. Kofi into the cover on the black car. Obviously early to get the win, but Kofi may just be trying to get inside of the head of Ciampa. Oh, and what a knee strike by the black car. Ciampa, I'm sure, is extra fired up tonight after losing his Intercontinental Championship at Raw Homecoming two weeks ago. That was Champa's first loss on the main roster since arriving after Extreme Rules a couple of months ago. Where again, he did win the Intercontinental Championship, held it from September the 10th all the way to December the 7th at Raw Homecoming. Now tag back in to Johnny Gargano and DIY looking to go tag team partnership again. Cross body there by Johnny wrestling the whole shebang in control of this matchup. Working over Kofi Kingston right now. Kofi's favoring the knee. He's going to be favoring everything and more if this action keeps up from DIY. Another knee by Gargano. Again, Johnny hot off a win over Ilya Dragunov last week on Monday Night Raw. And then a couple weeks ago, on the night of his return to the WWE Draft, Gargano picked up a win over Mustafa Ali. He's now over on SmackDown, currently holding the United States Championship, but Gargano yet to suffer a loss here upon his WWE return. New Day trying to make sure that they're not added to that list of accolades for Gargano and Ciampa. 
Nice maneuver by Kofi Kingston to take out Gargano. Springboard, crossbody there by Kofi. Kingston looking good in this contest, trying to build some momentum for the New Day to get back into it. Here's Gargano into the corner. New Day might benefit from some tag team offense right now, but Kofi's got something else in mind there. A little vintage Kofi Kingston springing up to the top rope like only he can. And an uppercut to Johnny Gargano. Kofi is feeling it in this tag team eliminator. Signature offense, now into the cover. As the New Day advances to the finals, Gargano gets the shoulder up. Not just yet for the ending of this matchup. Kofi Kingston seeing a sign of life there for the New Day. Now sends Gargano into enemy territory. Kofi Kingston gonna tag in Xavier Woods, and here we go. We could be looking for a little tag team action. Midnight hour by the New Day. And that may be all she wrote. Xavier Woods gonna win it. But Champa in there to break things up. And the matchup was almost over. And a lickety split right there. Midnight hour on Gargano, but Champa survives. DIY's chances. And Woods had his back turn to Gargano taking care of Champa. Now Gargano takes out Woods. And Gargano trying to charge at Kofi there, but Kofi sees what Gargano's got in mind. Bit of a stalemate in this contest as we are just moments away there from the New Day advancing. Gargano, look at that springboard, catches Xavier Woods with the drop kick on the outside of the ring. And Johnny Gargano's got a cocky ass attitude inside of the ring, but you cannot knock hit his abilities from bell to bell. And I'm sure Gargano would have no problem with DIY advancing on a count out here. Referee's only had a count of three. Xavier Woods finding his way back inside the squared circle, but there's Johnny Gargano to cut him off again. And an Insiguri, or a kick to the chest, I believe that was. Going for the cover, way too close to the ropes there is Gargano. And Woods trying to call, crawl to the cover, excuse me, crawl to the corner to tag in his partner, Kofi Kingston. DIY wanted to keep the weakened man in here. Gargano whips him off. Tag made of the black heart to Maso Champa. And now DIY here. Double super kicks. Vintage offense from Champa and Gargano. Woods is in deep trouble in this matchup. Oh no. May have spoke too soon. Look at this. But another counter by Champa. And it is hard to get the upper hand on somebody at Tommaso Champa's calendar. Cal Calibur, excuse me, so tough inside of the ring. So hard to find a weakness in the black heart. A reason he went undefeated the first near four months of his main roster run. And Xavier Woods again, springboard, Tornado DDT. And is that the sign of life that the New Day needed to get back into this contest? What does Xavier Woods got in mind here? Could be going for another Tornado DDT. Keep dropping Champ on his head. Eventually, he's going to get knocked out cold. Woods into the cover. Has the New Day advanced? Not just yet as Champa survives. Who is going to face the winner of next week's matchup? It's going to be Jinder Mahal and Sheamus taking on Eric and Ivar, the Viking Raiders. And in two weeks' time here on Monday Night Raw, wait, 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 wait a minute. Nice counter by Champa. Almost stole the victory. As we were going to mention, in two weeks' time here on Monday Night Raw, we will have the finals of the Tag Team Championship Eliminator, and the winners are going to the Royal Rumble on January 1st. Champa in control of this matchup. New Day, these last few minutes, really not able to find a long enough window to get back in. Xavier Woods again going for that Tornado DDT, I believe, but Champa had it scouted that time. Woods went to the well too many times, and the Blackheart knew it was coming. Now send it Woods to the outside. And again, Champa going to have no problem with a count-out victory. Looks like he's got something else in mind. Following Xavier Woods to the outside, Woods able to avoid disaster leap for a moment. And Xavier's got to take advantage of this opportunity. The New Day need a sign of life here to battle back in this tag team eliminator, but Champa trying to make sure it doesn't happen on their account. Sending Woods into the barricade. Referee's at a count of five right now, and the New Day 
is in deep trouble in this matchup. This clothesline by Ciampa, and this is the beatdown. The cold heart of Tommaso Ciampa being unleashed here tonight. No care for his opponent across the ring. Oh, no. Oh, wait a minute. Sunset flip by Xavier Woods. Enough to steal it here. No chip into the counter. Is he going to win it? No, not just yet. But Johnny Gargano taking out Kofi Kingston. Both men rushed in the ring to try to save their chances in this contest. Champa with the discus closed on Xavier Woods. But Woods survives again. The heart the New Day is showing here tonight to keep fighting. Oh, wait a minute, Champa. Oh, no. I think we know what's coming. Fairy tale ending. Up, up, down, down goes the New Day. And that's it. Johnny Gargano and Tommaso Ciampa back together here tonight on Raw. And they're walking away with the victory. DIY advances in the tag team championship. Oh, quick, come on now. Gargano and Ciampa, the damn match is over, and they're still beating down on the New Day. Just trying to send a statement to the Raw locker room. Trying to send a statement to whoever's wins next week's Tag Team Championship Eliminator matchup. Well, we've said it already tonight, but you may not like Gargano and Ciampa's actions, but you can't deny their abilities from bell to bell. And DIY defeats the New Day. There you have it. Gargano and Ciampa advance next week. Jinder Mahal and Sheamus versus Eric and Ivar in the next round of the Tag Team Championship Eliminator. Well, coming up on December the 21st, it is a live premiere special, a Raw and SmackDown production of Saturday Night's main event, 5 p.m. Eastern time on the 21st of December, and signed for that event are as followed. Monday Night Raw's Kevin Owens will be in action for the first time since defeating Big E at Raw Homecoming a number of weeks ago. The man who took out Edge, Kevin Owens, is in action on the 21st. Number one contenders match up for the Women's Tag Team Championships of the World have been signed. Alexa Bliss and Liv Morgan looking to get another opportunity at the way, but Naomi and Sasha Banks looking to have their own say about it. And from Friday Night SmackDown, the Prince Finn Balor set to go one-on-one -on -one with Mustache Mountain's Tyler Bate, former United Kingdom champion with a huge opportunity since joining the Blue brand against Balor on Saturday Night's main event. And also signed from SmackDown, Mustafa Ali defends the United States Championship for the first time in this reign against the almighty Bobby Lashley. Lashley Ali for the United States Championship on the 21st. And ladies and gentlemen, officially signed for the Royal Rumble on January 1st, 2023, Asuka, Shotzi, set to truly write the last chapter in their storied rivalry one-on-one -on -one for the Women's Championship at the Royal Rumble. But it is main event time here in the AT&T Center in San Antonio, Texas. And the phenomenal AJ Styles looking to continue his momentum after last week's win over Austin Theory as he's set to go one-on-one -on -one with the whole damn show with Mr. Monday Night, Rob Van Dam, with an opportunity at Randy Orton in the WWE Championship hanging in the balance. AJ Styles won the WWE Championship earlier this year by defeating Bobby Lashley at Backlash in April. He held the championship till June 26, where he lost it to Edge at SummerSlam. Failed to get it back at Extreme Rules, and then past issues with the Hurt Business, and Bobby Lashley really derailed AJ Styles for a few months there. Took AJ's eye off the ball. But ever since Styles put those issues in the past at Survivor Series, AJ has been chomping at the bit to get another opportunity at the WWE Championship. He came up short in that fatal four-way matchup to qualify for Raw Homecoming a number of weeks ago. Bounced back in a positive light against All Day Austin Theory last week here on Monday Night Raw. But now AJ's got another test ahead of him. A former WWE Champion, a WWE Hall of Famer, Mr. Monday Night, Rob Van Dam. And here comes the opponent. We are set for a big fight feel here tonight on Raw. 
He won the WWE Championship for the first and only time in his career back in June of 2006. All these years later, RVD is still moving like a 25-year-old inside of that ring, and RVD is looking to reach the top of the mountain yet again in World Wrestling Entertainment. RVD's got history with AJ Styles across various promotions here in the WWE. Well, you know what else RVD's got? History with Randy Orton. May have been back in the year of 2007, but at one point in time, Randy Orton put RVD on the shelf for so long, RVD had to exit World Wrestling Entertainment. And all these years later, RVD's got a chance to right the wrongs of years past. Imagine RVD getting his hands on Orton at the Rumble. Imagine RVD holding the WWE Championship a high in Toronto. Very much a possibility, but here we go. Number one contenders matchup. The winner's moving on to the Royal Rumble event on January the 1st. Styles and RVD, and we are underway in your main event contest. So Randy Orton's got a close eye on this one. You know who else might have a close eye on this matchup? That's the man who has came up short two times in a row in the last two weeks here on Monday Night Raw. That being all day Austin Theory. Remember, Theory was the one who won the number one contenders match, actually pinning RVD to qualify for Raw Homecoming two weeks ago. Theory went on to fight Randy Orton for the WWE Championship. Orton slid away with the victory on that night, retaining the WWE gold. Theory was looking to bounce back last week, crashed and burned by RVD. Here he's looking to bounce back last week against AJ Styles, but Styles came in prepared, came in motivated, and came in with the win over Austin Theory. We talked about how that matchup really could have some implications on who would be next in line to challenge for the WWE Championship, and clearly we see it did as AJ has got himself in this number one contenders matchup tonight. Could have very well been Austin Theory's spot had he got his hand raised last week. Nonetheless, AJ and RVD, it's going to be one of these two men battling it out with the Apex Predator, Randy Orton, on January the 1st, live premiere, 5 p.m. Eastern Time, Toronto, Ontario, Canada, the Royal Rumble. What about the news moments ago for the Women's Championship? Shotzi set for one more final battle against the Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka. After the situation that we saw earlier tonight, Asuka coming from behind, an absolute heinous attack on Shotzi, sending a message that she's coming back for the Women's Championship. A whole lot of writing between those two women this year, of really the last six months here in the WWE, and it's gonna culminate on January the 1st. Cannot wait to see that final battle between those two women. Meanwhile, RVD inside of the ring, classic split-legged moonsault. They have punched his ticket to Toronto there, not just yet. RVD has had a decorated Hall of Fame career. He's been the WWE Champion, he's been the Intercontinental Champion, Hardcore Champion, World Tag Team Champion, Mr. Money in the Bank, and that's just in the WWE alone. Looking at a former ECW Champion, a man who held all the titles there is to hold there, a man who has gone around the world and won championship gold across multiple continents. RVD is a Hall of Famer, and he's still going strong this day and age. Moves around in that ring like he's still in the prime of his career, and if he said he was, you really wouldn't argue. But AJ Styles has got something to say about it. Respect is there between these two men. There's no questioning that. But when a championship opportunity is on the line, absolutely any means necessary to get the victory, even if it means whipping your opponent as hard as possible into the barricade. And we talked about when AJ was making his way to the ring tonight, how AJ Styles is really focused in on the WWE Championship throughout this year. And it was the issues with the Hurt Business that really derailed AJ Styles' focus. Now that those issues have been put in the past, Styles has been able to recalibrate and refocus on the WWE Championship, and this may finally be the opportunity that the Phenomenal One has been searching for. RVD looking to make sure it doesn't happen on his account. Nice German suplex there by Mr. Monday Night. Oh no, Van Dam's going to the top rope. I think we know what he can come in. Five star front splash from the whole damn show. AJ Styles gets the shoulder up, but I got to credit that to that five-star frog splash being delivered yet early on in this contest. RVD throwing one of his best maneuvers. Wait a minute here. AJ Styles trying to sneak away with the victory. Quick pinfall, but RVD able to pop the shoulder up. 
Van Dam hitting that five-star frog splash, the best maneuver in his entire arsenal, but only a few minutes into this contest, not enough damage done to AJ Styles just yet. We've seen AJ go to war over the years, especially just in the last few months. Had a match of the year candidate back on June 26th at SummerSlam against Edge for the WWE Championship. AJ will go to the deep waters any means necessary, especially when the opportunity is on the line. Styles back in control of this matchup against the whole damn show. Now unloading on RVD again, picking apart his opponent. Styles so incredibly gifted inside of that ring. Now heading up to the top rope, looking to deliver a little high risk of himself. Frog splash of his own right into the cover. But RVD gets the shoulder up and the matchup rolls on another moment. Gotta wonder who Randy Orton would prefer to face at the Royal Rumble. Would he prefer to face AJ Styles or would he like to run it back with RVD? I mean, really, Randy Orton's case has got to be a lose-lose situation. I mean, either way, you're going to be pushed to your limits come Toronto on January the 1st. There's no question about that. RVD back in control, at least for a moment in this matchup. Styles is dazed. Wait a minute, RVD hits the ropes. We know what's coming. Rolling thunder by Mr. Monday Night into the cover. And that's got to do it. RVD, not just yet. AJ Styles gets the shoulder up. Oh, and another kick by RVD. Heading back to the top. But Styles, I think, knows what's coming there. New RVD was going to be looking for the five-star frog splash. Pushing himself through the pain in order to avoid it. And now Styles, the brain buster. What a maneuver by the phenomenal one. AJ trying to dig down deep. Trying to fight back in this matchup, but the RVD is really taking control the last few moments. And another counter by Styles. Now again, Styles rolls up into the bridge all the way on RVD. Now RVD pushes out of it. This isn't the first time these two men have been inside the ring with each other. They know each other well, hence a lot of the reversals we'll see in here tonight. There's another one right there. Styles avoids the kick by, my, by Van Dam. Puts him into the corner. And RVD with the counter. Back and forth, the pendulum of momentum swings in this main event matchup. And RVD making AJ Styles eat the canvas for dinner. Back and forth again, another counter by AJ Styles. This matchup is really gonna come down to who gets that upper hand and who gets that final blow. RVD with the counter there, Styles pops up. RVD again, snap suplex to the Phenomenal One. Styles pops up again. Styles, another quick pinfall by the Phenomenal One. Will that be enough? Oh, he got him, he got him! AJ Styles sneaks away with the victory. What a counter. AJ Styles catching RVD at the right place at the right time with that pinfall. Well, we said earlier, any means necessary to get the victory, and AJ Styles is on his way to the Royal Rumble. Here is your winner. Well, RVD understandably upset at the loss, but he can take nothing away from AJ Styles. He earned this victory tonight as he earned his victory last week, and he's earned his way to fight Randy Orton for the WWE Championship on Sunday night, January the 1st, 2023, in Toronto at the Royal Rumble. Thank you for joining us, and we will see you on Saturday night's main event on the 21st. Good night, everybody. Pace on when I chase like that, yeah, I play so strong with the knife in the back. I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat. Gonna see me rise if you hate on that. I don't play both sides, don't need no cap. I'm a rock.